Ohio gozaimasu. Today, I'd like to talk to you about uh, my new design that I've done for my website and the new technology that I've used to create my website. I used to use WordPress. I'm still an advocate of WordPress. It's just that for certain projects, WordPress is great. But the technology of WordPress is limited in its possibilities. And what I've looked into are some other content management systems that might help me uh, develop what I need as far as the pain points that clients bring to me and what I need to deliver to them. So I looked at a few things like Light CMS, Joomla, but nothing that I looked at could compare to the power of Drupal. Drupal is a CMF. So that means it is a content management framework to build content management systems. So you use Drupal to build Drupal uh, the way you would use, say, hypothetically, you would use Drupal to build a WordPress. So WordPress, it, um, it has the same kind of concepts that you would get in Drupal. Uh, per se, like things such as um, modules, themes, uh, content types, uh, but these are only to a limited degree, technically speaking, within WordPress. Now, Drupal, uh, you it has these things, but the thing is, you're the one that develops these. You're the one that makes these happen. So within Drupal, you are the one that build these content types, you are the one that builds the themes. You are the one that does everything, basically. So it gives you um, the full control to solve any kind of pain point that you might have within your content management system. So when looking into Drupal and the different kinds of technologies you could use with Drupal, I needed a theme that would be adaptive slash responsive, um, you know, a good healthy mix of both, and I saw Omega. Omega is a great theme, and it has a HTML5 and XHTML starter kit, but obviously we're going to be using HTML5 at this point from now on. Uh, it has a great few options, like it has a uh, fully responsive grid, uh, 960 layout, uh, HTML5 standard enhancement starter kit. Um, uh, you could apply your own CSS to all these different grids and zones. Uh, let's go into one of the settings, and I'll, I'll show you a few examples. So here within the settings, we see you could select a responsive grid or not. You could select to use the viewport settings to initiate the user to zoom in or out. Uh, you have different kinds of uh, breakpoints as far as global, normal, narrow, wide. And you could use these and set the different settings within here via the media queries to whatever those breakpoints you want to happen. And then you have your zones and region configurations where you could set zones, and within zones, you throw regions. So if we look at the preface, we could see that we could um, do certain things like provide a full width wrapper, um, force this to be uh, shown. We could set the different zones here if we want. We could do different prefixes, widths, uh, suffix, weights. We can move this all around however we want to accomplish our goals, whatever those pain points may be. I could add a class to my zone. I could add a wrapper class to my zone if I want, a block wrapper, uh, another class wrapper, or just this zone. However you want, you have a lot of administrative abilities within this system. Another thing we could look at is how exactly all these things are used and what are all the options we have within Omega. So we have things like uh, we have the grid settings, which we reviewed. We have, you know, uh, initiate scale, uh, the different breakpoints and what we could do with that. And we could go in and we could uh, even change the weight. 
We could change the media query. I'll say this is 540 instead of 740 because that's where I want my mobile breakpoint to be. And all the other ones I'll use and the fluid layout, something for a different tutorial, but you could definitely use that and you could investigate what that's going to be. We could go to the debugging. We could turn off the, uh, the, the extra blocks and the grids. We could turn off the different libraries that Omega gives us. We could choose to use Eric Myers' reset for our CSS. And there is an array of other CSS libraries that are available for us via Omega. And then we can toggle different elements such as action links, tabs, feed icon, page title, uh, and the normal things for appearance like choose the logo or not. So we'll go ahead and save this configuration and we'll go from there. Now let's look at deltas. Deltas is a very important tool for Omega. So we'll configure this delta that I made as a uh, alternative template for an example. And say you have, I don't know, a, a, a template where you need to have something change just a little bit differently to show uh, some different content in a different way. Great explanation, I know, but bear with me. So we're going to go ahead and change some information in this region. We're going to move the sidebar second, the sidebar first, and content so that this is reordered to be sidebar first sidebar second and then content so this way we'll have the code flow a little bit differently for say our um, our default template so if we want to have it to where the markup is just like we said and we'll look here inside the region uh, i believe it's in content zone yeah regions so now we have sidebar second sidebar first and then content however you need to reorder this content omega makes it really easy with delta uh, this is um, very powerful if you have, uh, like I said, you, you know, just basically your template needs to change for a different node type, um, a different taxonomy term, a different view. Uh, however, those um, those um, uh, existing um, uh, reactions need to be established for those conditions. You could do that with context and then choose that delta so in here context we could say okay let's choose different things like uh, menu date uh node type like i said i'll pick basic page um and i could pick path taxonomy whatever these are different things that you could use for your condition and then pick i could pick my uh blocks and i could say okay i'm going to add a new block i'm going to add um search form let's see Let's look for something that's just basic and goofy because I really didn't add much in here. Let's grab the uh, breadcrumbs, for instance. So we'll add the breadcrumbs in, I don't know, the um, all hypotheticals, the sidebar first. So we could do that. We could save that into there via delta, or excuse me, via context. And then in context, we could add a, um, a new uh, class to the body just because for this exact uh, delta, uh, in this context, rather, we're going to have a specific class that's going to uh, uh, utilize, be utilized just for this. And then we could add a reaction for deltas and add our different template via deltas. So here's my new website. Uh, I hope you guys take a look. It's frederickweiss.com. That's uh, the guy with uh, this name and two thumbs. Um, all Drupal, all... Um, Omega, fully responsive. Let's bring this down. We'll see the breakpoints start adjusting. So, bam, there's normal, 960. There is narrow, iPad, tablet, whatever, what have you. And here's mobile, fully responsive. Yeah, bitch. Pretty nice, right? So, uh, take a look. Tell me what you think. Give me a comment. I hope you liked the tutorial and uh, this basic um, walkthrough, if you will, of Drupal, Omega, and Deltas in context and how to use them as such. Uh, again, uh, subscribe to my podcast, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give you a shout out.